I do not assume you invited me here for pleasantries, obviously. Well, we have a case. One that we don't quite know what to do with. I gathered that, but what does the facts as the case? Perhaps the world's greatest detective can be of some assistance to you. Well, hold on to your seat. So, yesterday I met with a woman. Already this is truly shaking, yes. Truly disturbing, monsieur. Sometimes I wish that moustache could stop words from coming through. <laughs> just read this away, mon ami. It's just my nature. Proceed. She told me a story that she had been shipwrecked on an island off the southern coast. She had survived for several weeks with the help of a lost old man. He didn't make it long enough to be rescued, but he left it with quite a story to tell. What the these puzzles you, mister? Well, she had said that the island was home to monsters. Ancient creatures long thought to be extinct. We wrote it off as some kind of hysteria brought on by her situation. However... However what, mon ami? She had scars, claw marks. I had every expert brought in that I could, and no one could attribute to any known living animal. A very strange case indeed, monsieur. Very strange indeed. Do you think you can make sense of this? I'm only asking because we think you're the best. You're asking me because you don't want to waste your time, mon ami. You'd rather waste mine if this turns out to be some wild tears of the goose. Will you at least look into it? I will make some inquiries. In any case, every story contains a bit of truth. Mademoiselle, I'm sorry to bring up these traumatic events again, but I must know what happened on that island. I'm happy to help, but I don't see much of a point. I already answered all of the police's questions. Well, perhaps the police weren't necessarily asking the right questions, mademoiselle. Did you ever see the creature that injured you? Of course. I'd seen it stalking us the previous day. You misunderstand. Did you see it as it was injuring you? Well, no, then. It attacked while I was sleeping. I only awoke to the pain, but couldn't see anything in the darkness. If that's what you're asking. It is what I'm asking, mademoiselle. You see, the officer contacted me for this case because he had a suspicion that there was more to this story. From your point of view, the threat seemed to be entirely of natural origin. However, perhaps it is not so simple. What are you getting at? Was there anyone who made you fear for your life, mademoiselle? No. Was there anyone who then came from your demise? Not to my knowledge. Since this is just as I suspected, most strange. I suspect that there's some amount of ruse, that the would-be murderer took advantage of this mysterious island in order to make you believe that you were attacked by a monster. It's certainly a hunch, sir, but I don't know why anyone would do that. Why go to all the trouble in the first place? I do not know, but that is why I must continue my research. Thank you for your time, mademoiselle. I hope I haven't troubled you. I believe I have assembled the facts of the case. Well, I knew I could count on you. It is not the simple mon ami, but behold my presentation. My trip to the island revealed to me two major clues. The first was a perfect replica of a dinosaur claw. The second was a simple water bottle bearing a logo. I did not recognize the logo at first, but a little research did not disappoint me. So what did you discover? The logo belonged to a theatrical production company. I trust you see the importance of that. Oh yes, I adore the theater. That is not what I meant. The expertise required to forge a murder weapon in the guise of a claw would be perfectly aligned with the duties of a prop master, no? 
Yes, I'm beginning to understand. So you are. You remember says the Mademoiselle Lecount's being stranded alongside an old man? Yes, they helped each other survive on the island. Perhaps he helped her survive, but that was surely not his final intention, mon ami. I discovered that the production company's founder was an old man recently thought dead in the same shipwreck that stranded the Mademoiselle. The pieces are coming together, no? So you mean it wasn't an accident? You can imagine that the shipwreck was according to the prop master's grand design. So you mean that after they were stranded, he tried to kill her with a claw? Precisely, mon ami. But what's curious is that the Mademoiselle recounts that the old man who assisted her died before she was rescued. I propose that after the failed murder attempt, his plan awry, he used the claw to end his own life. The claw was then abandoned in a clearing, the blood of the man and of the woman still stained upon it. I still have so many questions. As do I. I still do not understand the motive, but I have uncovered the who and the how of the case. That is enough for me, mon ami. Well, thank you so much for your work, Mom. I'll find the mess and give you analysis. It may not be the whole story, but a little closure is better than none, Miss Owen. So what will you do next? Perhaps I'll take a vacation. To an island, perhaps. And perhaps I'll join you, then, on the next investigation. I would not mind some company.